What are you doing here, Dale? Sorry for the house call. It's after midnight. Just got off my shift. Well? You got any oxy? Not for months. Oh, shit. You out now? Yeah, I've been out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay. All right, come on. How long has it been like this? Uh, a couple weeks. Having I back home for the season. I can wrap you up, but you're gonna need to go to the hospital. Tried. Made me wait six hours. By then it's time to start my shift. Oh, next time wait seven. Till then? I really don't have anything for you, Dale. Why'd you stop? I got caught on the border with my mom's meds. No oxy? No. Another nowhere? Nowhere. Wouldn't tell me, would you? I got 10 days left on my probation, and the last thing I need to do is implicate myself in a worse crime that I got caught committing. So, no, I wouldn't. Keep it elevated, stay off of it, and go to the hospital, okay? I'm sorry I couldn't do more. I get it. It's a shame, though. Bill's selling for a lot more than you did. That's because he's a drug dealer. You okay, Bear?
know what's better, seeing you or seeing clean laundry. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why you don't get whoever left that lipstick on your nice shirt to do it for you. Cheaper. Maybe so. Can I get two coffees? Yeah. Hey, I forgot the creamer today, so I have to take it back. Hope that's okay. Thanks. Thank you. Usual place. Yeah? Did you find a place yet? No, still staying in the truck. Yeah, well, at least it's warmed up a little bit instead of being so freaking cold. Good old steak and eggs, huh? Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Let me have two. We'll take one back for Jeff. Okay. Jeff is your secret lover, right? <laughs> no. Keep it cheap. All right. How are you doing, Bill? Good, Ollie. How are you? I'm fine, Bill. Heard Dale made a house visit. Who? Funny. You were always funny. What can I do for you? We just got back to town. And you had no idea that I wasn't selling anymore. Could be, couldn't you? If you wanted. You mentioned you had a foreclosure notice on the door. Not like you couldn't use the money. You'd make great partners. I'm not interested. If you change your mind, let me know. So did he buy from you then? Dale? Well, he's working today. I've been applying for something normal, you know, so I can stop all the odd jobs and whatnot. All legal, of course. And the illegal stuff? Getting better at saying no? Yes. How's the living situation? Not great. I guess it's a good thing that mom passed before we got evicted. Just have me to worry about now, so. And how's your sister? I haven't seen her much. Well, even after... Yeah. Do you ever think about leaving? You know, one of the jobs that I applied to is out in Spokane. So... I'm not just... thinking about thinking about it... anymore. Speaking of which, I need a reference, so I was wondering if maybe... <laughs> <laughs> what, is that stupid? Not worried about what I'll say? Why, what are you gonna say? <laughs> I guess you'll find out. I know you think that that's funny, but that's not funny. <laughs> All good things. I think this is great. A good opportunity to start fresh. Well, your restitution is fully paid. We've got one more check in, and then, in eight days, your probation is done. Thanks. Ollie, you're so close. Please stay out of trouble. So you thought I forgot about that fiber that you owe me, so last week I took a pair of your socks. If you want them back, you know I write shit down. Hey, I'm Jack. Okay, Jack, yeah? 
You're that only in girl. Well, what's you? it to you? Well, I need to get across the border. Uh, my leg's getting worse. I can't see a doctor on this oh, side. Excuse me. You must be looking I, I, for someone else. I can't get work. That's done. Thanks. Oh, yeah, the king must miss me something, Pierce. Oh, if I do, Ian hasn't hit me yet. But you know? You know, I can think of someone who might miss you, but it's not me. Hey, you've been talking to the guys about me? A what? Like how much I admire you? No. You know what I mean? No, of course not. Okay, because I've had some new guys ask me, and then Bill's been on my ass, so. You and Bill? Oh, shit. You get me? No, I'm not. Yeah? You'd make a killing. Your charge is much more than you used to. Yeah, I heard. So I'm going ahead. Come talk to me. Why don't you help your kid and my sister instead? This is Oleander King calling on behalf of Bridget Sorensen. Yes. Yeah, I'm her daughter. No, adopted, that's... Mm -hmm. She, uh, Bridget passed away, actually, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have them. Wait, they do on sale? What, what does that mean? Hey. Hey. Can I have some apple juice, Auntie Ollie? May I have some apple juice, please? May I? Feet in peace. chicken. Good. Hey, right, come on. Aren't you coloring the book? Mm -hmm. okay. Say thank you. Thank you. You're good, you're really good, right? Want to go back inside and talk to your aunt? Yeah? Oh, I want the coloring book. You want uh -huh. your other coloring book? Are you going to say please? Uh-huh. And I'm going to color you a big fat turd. <laughs> You're still sleeping on the floor in mom's room? I kinda got used to it. Well, what's wrong with your room? Nothing, it's just... What? <sighs> Nothing. I'm interviewing for a job out in Spokane. I'm thinking if I get it, I'm just gonna let go of the house. So you get this job, you're leaving? Yeah, hopefully. You, Oleander, are not hopeful. Practical, yeah, resourceful, absolutely. You never hope, you do. Yeah, sometimes I do a little too much. You'll be fine, you'll get the job, you'll get out of here. like old times. Want one? No, I quit. They're bad for you. I'm picking my poison. Hey, 
if I leave, Deb, you're gonna have to step up. Stay out of trouble. I'm clean. I'm clean. Good. Look, I know this is sudden. What the hell? I'm pregnant. Well, what are you and the guy gonna do? It's the answer. Oh, God, well, that answers that. What are you gonna do? Oh, please don't. I don't need any more of that from you. What do you need from me, Deb? Nothing. Well, what are you gonna do? I don't know. I don't really have a lot of options. Either you have or it... I don't. Never mind. You know, I'll take care of it. What do you mean, you'll take care of it? Means I'll take care of it. What, with some back alley fix at Taylor's? You really want to take that risk? God, you have a kid. Johnny is exactly why I can't. I live in a parking lot. No, that was your choice. You could have lived in the house you're, if you wanted to. You're giving away our house. So, you could get seriously hurt. Hopefully not, though, right? No, I don't hope. Right? You do. Fine, you'll move in here. The house we're about to lose. What if I found a way to make some money? No, it's not like I wouldn't have bills. But you'd have a home. An actual home, and I could help you out once I get a real job. You want me to have another kid? Really? I want you to be okay. Yeah. Because you're leaving. Yeah. Where are you going to get the money, Ollie? I'll figure something out. Yours longer. Yours is too. I miss you sometimes. Yeah. I miss you all the time. You're tired. Close your eyes. Are you sleepy? Yes. All right, so that is $5,682 due to turn the home over to Deborah Hale. And when would that be due? In one week. Um, We've sent many notices of the foreclosure to your home. Yeah, I understand. But is there something that we could maybe work out? I'm sorry, it's been a rough time for a lot of people. Yeah, and here we are trying to keep the one thing that we have that nobody else is gonna want. Trust me. If you sell the house, you'd pay us to keep it. <laughs> Can you let us just give you half the money? Please. I'll see what I can do. I hate begging. Mia, yeah, it doesn't exactly float my boat either, but... Three grand would be better than six. Might as well be 50,000. Money's money is money when you ain't got it. Yeah. If you can get us half the total mortgage in one week, we can redistribute the rest across future payments. That's great. Yeah, thank you so much. You're welcome.
Oh, somebody's late for work. What do you want? What do I want? Come on, Oh, what's up, little man? Come say hi to daddy. Oh! oh. oh Jesus, he's drunk. <laughs> Are you sick, too? Am I sick? No, I'm not sick. <laughs> OK, let's get you inside. What? Leave. Please. What, I can't hang out with my son? Not like this. Oh, but you can ask me for money? Yes. Shh. What are you feeding the little guy? Oh, looks yeah. like he's starving. Starving? Well, I'm putting him on your diet. Nothing but beer. Hope he grows up big and strong and fucking worthless like his daddy. You're a bad mom. Okay. Yo, I got that money you begged me for. I didn't beg you for shit. Uh huh. You should be thanking me. I don't want it. That's what you I should be doing. Beg me for you thanking me. Get out! Get out of here! You're a joke. You're a fucking joke. About knocking? What? You're to tell me what a piece of shit I am? He said if I wanted back in to come see you. Why? Thought you were here for dad. I am. I answer the question. You want back in? Or are you selling? I don't know who's buying. Here in Little Woods, Tioga, Watford City. So you could move, say, 500 pills? Would you really have a bag buried in the woods? 500 pills. Some partners? Mm. Look, you tell people the price, and you don't say my name, you don't say Little Woods, you don't say anything to anybody about where you got them. That's it. Okay, but I don't sell. What, you don't or you won't? Oh, listen, you were the one who was good at it. You knew how to deal, and you weren't wasting your time out in Brandon giving people prescriptions. You were getting shit done. So like I said, I know who's buying. I will set you up. But you gotta sell. Fine. But I want to move it in a week. Can you make that happen? <coughs> a week? Holly, will you make the plans? Yeah, Ian. And don't fuck it up, okay? It's not just about me. It's not about you. It's about your family. Okay. You understand? Yeah, I get it. All right. 
When we start tomorrow. All right, Captain. Just let me know when and where to go. Hey, Ollie. Tell Deb I said I'm sorry. Why don't you tell her yourself? Make an appointment with the doctor. Susie can help you with that. We're pretty far behind. It's going to be four to six weeks. Four to six weeks? I know. It's crazy. Oh, um, well, then, can I just ask you a couple of questions? Sure. How much over the whole pregnancy? I mean, you know, bare minimum. How much is that? Depends on your insurance. Your copay could be as little as 10, 20 a visit. Yeah. Well, what if I lost my insurance? No reimbursement. But. If you do it right, you can get 12 prenatal visits and some prenatal vitamins. So pregnancy and birth is going to be about eight or 9000 And if you need a cesarean, 12. Being pregnant costs $8,000? I'm afraid so, honey. Have you considered going home and having the baby with family? I'm from here. I don't... I don't really have... Um... I'm... What about other options? Sun burn hard, burn my eyes, but so hard I thought I'd die. Thought I died and gone the hill, looking for the water from a deeper well. I went to the river, but the river was dry. I fell on my knees and looked to the sky, looked to the sky and the spring rain fell. Saw the water from a deeper well. Well, full of water from a deeper well. I was ready for the love, I was ready for the money, ready for the blood and ready for the honey, ready for the winning and ready for the bell, looking for the water from a deep blue well. Found some love and I found some money, found that blood would drip from the honey, found a hat of this that I could not quell, looking for the water from a deep blue well. in that old beater of yours? Yeah, I know I do. Hey, uh, how's the ankle? Been better. Yeah? Go to the hospital, like I said? Yeah. Wait for seven hours and everything, but only so long a man can wait. You, uh, you need anything for it? You got something? Yeah, Oxy. It's well with over 10 for you. Take ten. Yoga. Okay, um, how many? 
you're pulling your weight after all, huh? girl, right? I give you up. I give you five for a bottle. Two for nine hundred. All right. You're early. Yeah, I thought that I'd come before the interview. Just get this last check-in out of the way. If that's okay. So just checking in. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so, how are you feeling? Fine. Don't be nervous. Just be yourself. Carter, you usually have better advice than that. Well, just talk to her like your person. Sure. Be natural. I really don't think that I can. <laughs> you can. Ollie. You deserve this. Yeah. Hey, uh, real quick, just be honest with me. Was a thermal under a blazer a bad idea? I'd have done in Oxford, but it's okay. Okay. I don't have time to change. I'm kidding. <laughs> Sheila Andrews. Nice to meet you. Hi. It's uh, hard to find. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi. There you go. Thank you. Uh, let me know if I can get you ladies anything, okay? Okay. Wow. It really is pricey here. Uh, yeah, it's the boom. It just everything has exploded. The hell scene is even worse if you can find it. That's why I started selling things at the rigs to the guys. You know, just like a coffee and whatnot. Because if you get them at some of the carts in town, they can run you about six bucks, and they really aren't that good. So, <laughs> well, this is on me. Oh, I didn't mean. Oh no, sorry. Oh, oh, thank you. So, uh, Ollie, um, your probation officer, Officer Carter. Carter has told me so many things about you. And um, I think it goes without saying that he must see a lot in you if he's willing to vouch for you. Yeah. He's uh, pretty great. So, why don't you tell me a bit about you, what you've been doing, and what you'd like to be doing. Sure. You know what, will you just excuse me? I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, oh sorry. sorry. Of course. What? What do you want? Oh, 
her back. Okay, about what? I'm busy. Little birdie told me. Well, fuck your little birdie, Bill. What do you want? I want a cut. What? I know you're selling again. And I don't appreciate losing customers because you decided to get back into business. So I'll make you a deal. You give me a cut, I don't get greedy, and I don't get angry. Now, I don't know who told you, but I'm... I'm making this real simple for you, King. You keep selling, you give me 30%. Or you do what you do best, and make a run across the border for me. I'll even pay you. That's only fair. You're not gonna lie to me. So choose. I'm not crossing the border again. I'm not taking that risk. I'm glad we figured that out. You look nice. We done? Yeah. Sorry about that. Are you okay? Mm hmm Yeah. I just uh, have to pee when I get nervous. <laughs> well, let's get started. Stopping by, I just uh, wanted to see how it went. No, of course. Come on in. And I haven't done a drop in for some time, so I uh, thought I'd double up on my duties. Sure. Sheila called me after. Yeah. God, I hope she didn't think I was a crazy person. No. No, she loved you. She said she knows that part of starting over is having a good job. And having purpose. Is this what she said? <laughs> Did she say anything else? She'll call you in a couple days. I'm proud of you. Quiet, Johnny's napping in the bed. Sorry. Uh, I need a favor. What kind? I had a real close call with my PO, so I gotta keep this here. You're selling. No, I'm just having a big party over the weekend. How'd you think I was gonna make three grand in seven days? Panhandling? Waitressing? 
So that's why Blue roughed you up today. You on his turf or something? Isn't this getting old? I'm doing this for you. Well, what do you want? Gratitude? What do you want for me to say I'm sorry? For what? You never do anything wrong. You knew what I meant when I said I'd figure it out. Yeah, you did. <sighs> you used to make it sound so good. Going to Canada and coming back with a ton of drugs. Dana's mom got her ARBs. Sarah got her abortion pills. Tom got his kids antibiotics. And, <sighs> and mom got her meds. But you'd forget to mention to me the other stuff you brought. You don't get it. Every day I'm with mom and she's dying and all I can do is get her some medication so it hurts less. So that she lives a little bit longer. What do you want me to do, huh? Nothing? I get that we had no choice. Why? I had no choice. Because you weren't there. It's not what I wanted, all right? It just kind of turned into this. And now I don't want to leave you until you have that house. I'm halfway there. House or no house. I can't keep this baby. Your choices are only as good as your options are. So are yours. I know. Can you do this without getting caught? Yes. Are you sure? Of course not. He was here. How'd your interview go? I don't know. I wore a really stupid thing. You look. I mean, come on, would you hire me? I would. How many days you got left? Four. You're so close. Don't worry about me. Worry about him. Be back. I'm not here about work. Yeah, you come here for a dance. Uh, I heard you got a procedure done around here. Not at a hospital. I ain't got nothing for you, honey. Jenny, I'm not trying to get anyone in trouble. Yeah, well, you ain't gotta try. All you gotta do is go around asking too many questions, and you're doing that right off the top. Come on. I just need Taylor's address. There were a million girls I could have got it from. But you're asking me. I'm asking you to help me. Hmm. I like your necklace. No. Your earrings. <sighs> Fine. What, you never seen a woman before? Come on. Eyeballs in your head, motherfucker. You ain't getting none. Faking <laughs> oh, guys in this town here. Yeah. Oh, come on, really? You know where I live. What? Yeah, I need more people. Hmm? People who want to buy more and are willing to spend more. There's a rodeo tonight. Why not? Those guys pop out to like there's no tomorrow. You know any of them? My Bo Bo rides, man. You trust this boy, Bo? <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah, they're gentlemen. No worries. They got a lot of money.
Hey, you go. Well, well, that was quick. Here. Hold up. I'm out of schedule. What? Where'd you get all this? I sold. More skills than anyone needs, you got. You sure you don't want to make that trip over for me? How much would you pay me? Fifteen hundred. You're thinking about it, ain't you? to know you to know you. Hello? Oh, okay. Yeah, I can pick it up today. Nope. Oh, what an earn is fine. What? <clears throat> Hi. Hi. I'm glad you're here. You want to sit down? Ah, it's just too far. <laughs> what? Will you come here? Uh, Promise I'll just hold your hand. You shouldn't trust me. <laughs> but be adventurous. <laughs> okay. <sighs> See, that's all right. I made a decision, and I want to tell you. Okay. It's okay. I found out I'm pregnant. Okay. And I'm not going to have it. Yeah. Wait a minute, what? Okay, um... Yeah. 
Listen, if this is about money. No, it's not just about money. I can get food, I can get clothes. Having a baby is more than buying food and clothes. Do you want to get married? No. We can get married. Johnny has always been more than enough for me. What? And you know I can't depend on you. I have a good thing going with Ollie. Oh, no. Ollie's leaving, Ian. Ollie's leaving, and we've got to let her go. You could depend on me. I had a plan, you know. I was gonna go to Taylor's tonight. Oh, no, why? I didn't even make it. I went home to drop Johnny off at my neighbor's, and, well, home was gone. They towed it away, everything I had, everything was in there. Our money. Wait, what? The trailer, the trailer is gone. How? What do you mean it's gone? Who took it? I don't know. They've been threatening it for weeks. I just never thought... That... What? You didn't think to mention no. that when I put everything in there? No, I never thought that they'd actually do it. Oh. Yeah, because you never think. <sighs> Fine. I'll talk to Bill. I'll borrow a couple hundred. We'll get it out of the tow. My name's not on the paperwork. I basically just took it over when someone left. <laughs> Fuck. What if they find the stuff? Fuck. What if they, what if they search the trailer? Dad, why are you so good at fucking things up? I, I, how, how was I supposed to know? God, you were... are such a mess. Everything is a mess and I'm always the one that has to clean it up. I'm so tired of that. I'm so fucking tired of you. Nobody's asking you to do anything for me, Ollie. Johnny, stay in there. What are you, where are you, you don't get to do that. You don't get to run off and make me feel like shit. You don't get to do that anymore! By yourself. Not in the much time. Come on, you talk to me, won't you? I don't know you. I don't wanna. Oh, fuck you, bitch.
I like the herb. It's the cheapest one they had. Such a force of nature in such a little box. Yeah, it's the way it goes. Where'd you go? Got drunk, drove around. I got into the trailer, but all the money and the pills were all gone. Oh, Christ. You were always the better drunk driver. There's no such thing as a good drunk okay. driver. And what are you? Bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't get some of your stuff. Oh. And you still got clothes here, so. Small victories, mm -hmm. I guess. What happened to this stuff? I don't know. There's not a lot of legal recourse for drug dealers, you know. Deb, come on, you're pregnant. It costs eight thousand dollars just to have a baby. I did try to figure things out on my own, you know. I went to the women's clinic, and they told me that. With checkups and vitamins and delivery, without insurance, it's eight thousand dollars. She was sure to give me this, though. Closest place for an abortion, she said. Where is it? Hundreds of miles away. I can get you there. Hundreds of dollars more than I can afford. And if Taylor's is off the table. Starting to see why Canada is so appealing to people. I'll take you up, get you sorted out. No. Bring you back. No. 
Bill's been asking me to take something across for him. I'll go up, he'll pay me, I'll take you. Same difference, huh? No. It's your choice. I can get you up there if you want. What would I have to do? Go to the caravans for a Canadian health card? I took over when I stopped. No. Yeah, there's no way around it. What went wrong last time? When you got caught? I forgot to be scared. Because I liked it too much. Johnny, have you ever seen a buffalo before? Look. A buffalo? Yeah, a buffalo. Uh, what's a buffalo? <laughs> yeah. They're usually pretty grumpy, but that one looks like he's smiling. Must be you. <laughs> pretty neat, huh? Keep building. Hey. Oh, visit so soon. Hey, kiddo. Can we talk? <laughs> Sweetheart, you remember Ollie, right? Yeah. Hey, Jody. Hi. This is Johnny. Is it okay if he hangs out with you for a little bit? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Hey, sweet, why don't you tell Johnny about what happened to Grumpy Bear? <laughs> Grumpy Bear, that's what we call him in the morning when he wakes up. <laughs> hey, Johnny, when you cough, remember to cover your mouth, okay? Johnny, want to help me with this? 3,000, take it or leave it. <laughs> I can go tomorrow. MRIs are in here, and what you're gonna drop off is in here. It's a pill mill run? <sighs> Why are you doing it in Manitoba? You know what's wrong with feds this side of the border? You thank the meth heads for that. Besides, closest one is an hour away, just happens to be in Canada. What's in the bag? Nothing you need to worry about. I'm transporting it. I should know. You do your job. You don't need to know shit. That's half the 3K. The rest when you get back. I'll see you in a couple days. Hey. Should go wake him up. We gotta head out in a bit. Get your ID. It's not too late to back out. If you think it might not be worth it. It's worth it.
sure this is it? Yeah, this is the place. It's exactly how they describe. All right. Uh, call me if you need me. You're brave. Hi, I'm Deb. Joe. I uh, called earlier about... Yeah. Come on in. So... Can I see them? Yeah. We got our Manitoba Health, uh, state IDs. How do we know we can trust you? Um, why wouldn't you? It's a fair question. Take a look. So, uh, mine, mine will look like this. How much money you got? what we agreed. Okay. Take her in. Follow. You'll sit there. Evening. Evening. Do you have another one of those? The uh, machine inside is out. Oh, yeah, sure. Do you need a light? No, no, I don't. Colder out here than you expected, eh? Uh, Freaking cold, yeah. <laughs> you from around these parts? No. What brings you out this way? I just heard this was the foremost pit stop in North Dakota, so <laughs> just checking it out. So, just you out tonight? No, I got my. Uh... She needs to take her coat off. <clears throat> what? Take off your coat. No one wears their coat in a picture. <clears throat> yeah, that's good. Okay. That's good. Where are you going? Let's print this out. Who 
told you about us? Ollie. I don't think I know who that is. Oleander. Never heard of her. I thought... And I don't know you. So what? Well, here's the thing. You're a stranger, and you're asking us to do something illegal. So we're gonna need more. Money. Just to make sure you're all right. How much more? A hundred. I don't have that. Okay, what do you have? Uh, my watch, I, you know, I don't, I don't want my watch. No, no, what else? I don't... My necklace? This was my mom's though, so... No, I don't think that's gonna do it. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me back my money. Just relax. Just give me back my money, okay? I'm gonna go somewhere it's else. Fine. Just relax. Just relax. Give me back. Let go! Let me go! Let go of my arm. You need to relax. Okay. All right. I have more money. I have more. Just let me get my jacket. Well, why don't you say so? Let me go get it. Of course. Of course I will. Yeah. Yeah. Get it. Boy's mother. Do I look like it? I need you to step over here, please. Sorry, I. Ma'am, I need you to come step right over here, oh, please. Okay. Thank you. Is there a problem? Well, we're about to find out. Hey. Hi. I was just telling the officer here how we're on a little trip to see mom. Yeah. Oh, sorry it took so long. The bathroom was out of service. Had to go out back. Yeah, she's pregnant. Can't hold her too good. Where does mom live? In Portal. Portal. All right. You drive safe. I'll do. Thank Good night. They go like we planned. Jesus. These fuckers. You're okay, Bear. Okay, let's go. 
Come on, Bear. It's gotta be this way. Come on, I know you're tired. Hey, Bear, look at me. Look at me. We're so close. We're gonna get it. Yeah, come on, I we gotta know. move. The sun's I coming up, Deb. Oh, I know, but come on. We gotta get a move on. Okay, I, I'm gonna carry it. Okay. I forgot to say thanks for picking us up. I'm always here to help. But I was sure you meant it when you said I wouldn't be seeing you again. Yeah, I did. That's a family emergency. Well, you're lucky. I happen to have a room free. Oh, Jerry. You always have a room free. <laughs> you got me there. <laughs> thanks. Also, I need a favor. What's up? I think I could borrow your car, just for a few hours. Sure. What's the second? Okay, uh, I need someone to watch the kid, just while I'm out with his mom. Please. Really, it's the last time. We'll see. I don't know about your part. It's quite far. Yeah, I know. What do you think? Yeah, I think that's good, but I don't know. I think it's too much lipstick. She doesn't look like she wears that much makeup. Better? Yeah, that's good. This is the best we can do, I think. That's good. You yeah. hardly look. Hey, Bear. Wake up. Hey. My friend Jerry is going to take care of you for a bit. I go to the doctor. Are you okay? Yeah, Bear, don't worry. I'll be right back. I'm just going for a checkup. Then I'll be good as new. Thank you, promise. Thank you, promise. Ignore him. I mean, look at him. Their signs aren't even that great. <sighs> hey, you're all set, okay? If you have any trouble, anything happens, call us in. I'll be all right. You're brave. <sighs> yeah. Do you have an appointment? Yeah, my name's Barbara. But Melanie, Barbara Melanie. At what time? 10.30. May I see your health card, please? Thank you.
Hmm. Wait, I, uh, uh, one sec. Wait. Mm. Yeah, it, it's not working. I, I've probably got the numbers wrong. I, I'm due for a new prescription. It, it might have expired. I'll just. Would you mind reading the numbers out to me, sweetheart? Uh. Sure. Zero nine five one two zero four. All right. You're all set. Uh, just uh, fill out these forms, and I'll call you when the doctor's ready for you. What does he want? 240, 30 milligram oxycodone, 180, 10 milligram Valium. Here, maybe it's easier if I give it to you. This bag, who do I give it to? You can leave that with me. I was wondering where he'd run off to. Just here. You want one? <laughs> Don't look so guilty, you earned it. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> Day. Uh, yeah, the best part about the day is that it's over. I hear that. Uh, I'm done. Done with all of it. 
You're leaving. You're gonna be okay, Bear. I don't know. Come on. You've got college. Yeah, if I ace the entrance exam. Which you will. You're gonna have the house. Yeah. You've got the cutest little boy ever who loves you to bits. You've got me. You're not allowed to really grow old without me. Okay? Okay. You know that I love you, right? I love you too. Yeah. 